Welcome to Philippine Canadian Empire's Daily News Roundup brought to you by CanadianEmpire.net, your only Filipino-Canadian daily news portal. Thank you for joining us. In the news, Duterte reminds cops to not go overboard on the drug war. President Rodrigo Duterte on Wednesday clarified that he is not tolerating abuse of cops and to have mercy on their transgressions is far from happening. Duterte stressed that the goal of the drug war is to clean the country's long-time drug problem, but consenting murders and other criminal injustices as means to achieve it are not part of the picture. According to the president, the recent death of the 17-year-old Kian de los Santos was not done in performance of police duty. He clarified that he is not justifying the incident in Caloacan City and ordered cops to not commit a crime. Furthermore, Duterte reminded the police and the military to abide in the rules of the operation, which excludes killing a person kneeling down and begging for his life because it is murder. Quote, nobody wants to kill innocent persons, and quote, Duterte said. Ping Lacson's son, a smuggler, says Feldon. Panfilo Lacson Jr., son of Senator Panfilo Lacson, has been tagged as smuggler by former Bureau of Customs Chief Nicanor Feldon. Feldon said billions worth of cement was smuggled into the country, information he received on July 12, 13, and 15, but it was only today that the name of the owner was verified. Quote, the total of three ships in just three days is 106 million pesos. The owner of this, I checked it today. Remember, I have alerted when it was reported to me. The owner went there and introduced himself as Panfilo Lapson Jr. and quote, Feldon said. Furthermore, Feldon said that Ping's son had personally brought money to the customs office, attempting to bribe his employee. Meanwhile, Lapson said that he is not privy to his son's business. Furthermore, he assured that if there is any truth in the accusations against his son, he would not interfere with whatever actions the government has to do and would even be the first to file a case against him. Paul Chief all set to end their impeachment complaints. Commission on Elections Chairman Juan Andres Bautista confidently answered yes when asked if he is willing to face impeachment complaints. This came after former Negros Oriental Representative Jacinto Paras and Ferdinand Topacho, lawyer for the Volunteers Against Crime and Corruption, filed an impeachment complaint against the Paul Chief on Wednesday. The lawyers claimed that Bautista committed culpable violation of the Constitution and betrayed the public's trust. Bautista reiterated his previous statements where he said that he is going to answer to allegations at the right time and place. 